Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this is Fun with Photos. This week, I want to answer a question that I got from a follower. He says he really likes sharing photo albums with friends, but he wants to be able to write some text that they will see with each photo, like a caption at the bottom. Well, in Google Photos, there is no perfect option for this, but there are four different choices. I want to show you how to do descriptions, comments, album text blocks, and text on photos. Let's do it. The first method I want to talk about is photo descriptions. There is a place with every photo where you can write whatever you want and it will stay with the photo in Google Photos. I'll show you where that is. The issue is with seeing those descriptions. You have to kind of know where to look, but let me, let me show you what I mean. So here is the album I'm going to use of a trip that Jim and I took to Indonesia and scuba diving. Now I have written descriptions with every single one of these, but if you're just looking at the overview of the album, you don't see them. If I open one particular photo and click on the little I for info, there is the description. That's where you have to go to type it in. And one just little tip, if you're going to do this, I recommend writing some kind of description for every single picture. Then your followers might get accustomed to how to see them. Now, if you don't have this info panel open, that description shows up in the lower left. So, I mean, that is a caption. Every photo has a caption. And this is why I say it's important to write a caption with every photo. Then your people will get used to the fact that they should be seeing something. And if they are looking at the photo in full screen, the caption will show up in the lower left on the computer. Now let's look at the phone. So here is that same album on the phone. This is an Android, but it's the same on an iPhone, and I don't see any descriptions. But if I tap to open a photo, notice the description does appear down at the bottom. I can go on to other photos, and you see the descriptions as a caption. That works pretty good, as long as the people looking at it know where to look. And they can always swipe up on the picture and they will see the full description. But that's, and, and you'll still see the picture at the top, so they can go through that way. Because it's part of the options that show up with a photo. So for example, if you tap the photo to make those, to make all the tools go away, the caption goes away also. Just tap again and it comes back. The next option is comments. And this one is pretty nice. If you have shared an album, then you can add a comment to any or all of the photos. Plus, the people who are viewing your album, if they join, they use Google, then they can comment as well. It kind of makes it like a personal Facebook where you are having conversation with the people who are viewing your photos. They can ask questions and you can give answers. And there is a little emblem on each photo letting you know that there are comments. You just click on that little emblem and then you see the comments over on the right of the picture. Let me show you what that looks like first on the computer and then the phone. So on the computer, after I just open the album and as I scroll through, you see the little comment bubble with the number of, how, number of comments that there are. Then you can just click right on that little button where it says four. And on the computer, it opens up a sidebar on the right with all the comments on this particular photo. 
on the phone, you open up the album and same thing. You see the number in the lower right hand corner of each picture. And you can tap on it. That opens the photo. Then you still have to tap on comments. And on the phone, you don't can't see them side by side. It opens up the whole comment. Then you have to tap outside of it to get back to the picture, etc. And tap back to get to the album view. So that is comments. Next is what I call text blocks. So this is in the overall album view. You can tell your story. By you can put full blocks of text in amongst the photos. Let me show you how to do that. So here is my album without any text blocks. First step is you need to click the three dot menu at the top and choose edit album. Now you have some new options in the up in the top right. One of them is TT, which is add text. Click on that and it opens up a text block in the approximate location that it thinks you want to put it. We can change that later. Type in whatever you want. It can be a paragraph, two paragraphs. I don't think there is a limit. So here I want people to understand where we're going and how long it took. So I am putting this and but I can move it around like this mentions Istanbul and an overnight in Bali. So I think I want to move it down after this picture of the Istanbul airport. You need to move your mouse till you have this hand icon. Now when you click and hold, you are dragging that whole text block and wherever you drop it off is where it gets moved. Then you need to click the check mark in the upper left to be done with that. On a phone, it works the same way. Open the album, get to the approximate location where you want to type something, tap three dots, edit, and then the TT to add text. When done, tap the check mark on the text. Touch and hold to drag it more specifically to where you want it. Then tap the check mark for the whole album. One thing to know, however, is that this will only be viewable while you're looking at the album overview. If you go into one particular picture, and then go to the next, it skips right over. You will not see the album text block. But it's a great tool for telling your whole story. And the last option is typing text directly on the photo. So if they're looking at the photo, they're going to see the text. There's no way around it. I use Snapseed for this first example up here. And to see how that's done, there's a separate video, number 598. Also, using Google Photos, just the Android version, you can add text like this one on the bottom. And there are two separate videos on that, 725 and 726. So in case you don't have Snapseed or Google Photos Android, I want to show you how you can do it on the Samsung Gallery or the Apple Photos. So here is my Samsung and if I open up Gallery and open a photo, tap Edit, and then it's, it's this one with a little smiley face in the pencil is the markup. You have choices of putting stickers or drawing, but you can just type text. And I'm just going to put where this is. It was the Lemba Straits. It's 
went in white. You could choose other colors if you want, but I think white works well for this. And when you tap outside of it, you can now drag the whole thing around. You can use two fingers to change the size. When you're done, you tap save. It will show up in Google Photos. There we go. Now for the iPhone, I'm going to show you Apple Photos. That's this icon right here. You open the picture, you tap Edit, you tap on this little pencil icon, which stands for Markup. Now you can choose a different color. It's good to do that first. I think white is going to work best for, no, I think I want black. So I'll go to black and done with choosing the color. Now I tap plus and say I want text. Tap on the text, delete the TEXT that's there, and type whatever you want. Now you just tap outside of it, and then you can grab it and move it to some place. Two fingers will change the width of the text block and done and done and that will show up in google photos so that was four different options for adding captions to your google photos albums descriptions comments album text blocks and text on photos you can learn lots more at geeksontour.com. Try the YouTube shows and fun with photos. If you want to see the exact album that I used in this video, you can scan that code and you will see that dive trip album.